you're gonna draw each other, but you won't be able to lift the pin, and you have to only look at each other. Just don't draw on your pants, Keith. <laughs> I know how you are. <laughs> All right, Buffy. Can't lift the pen. Oh, Keith. sorry, sorry. <laughs> Where am I? Oh. Okay, yeah. Why don't we? Hey, <laughs> hey mine is actually better than yours. Yeah, let's show. Shocking. Show the camera. <laughs> yeah, why don't you guys lift? It looks like I mean, yours is very abstract and Picasso-like. I think it captures you beautifully, actually. <laughs> you gave me a deep chin. A masculine Thank you gem. for that. You're welcome. What inspired you creatively growing up in terms of music, fashion, colors, landscapes, travel, people? My inspiration for design came from television, actually. So, like, my biggest design inspos were like Will and & Grace and Frasier. The sets from those shows, I just kind of got lost in, you know? Complete immersion. I, on the other hand, <laughs> was more into, like, science and nerdy things. So I was not really looking at houses too too much until I met him. <laughs> um, then I started to look at houses a lot more. I feel like we pull a lot of design things from nature. I love Northern Michigan, I love Colorado. I love the desert scenes from the Southwest. Mm -hmm. Everywhere that we've been, we try to pull in a little bit of inspiration. What is your advice for someone who's having a hard time getting creative or finding a creative outlet? It's always fun to talk to people that are struggling finding their design style or if they're creatively challenged. And I feel like going to farmer's markets or art galleries or murals, I think the biggest thing to kind of punch up creativity is be around other creatives. What are some tips for anyone young looking to get in the design field? So if you're a young person in the design field, I feel like the biggest challenge is making your mark. And I think there's a lot of people that are really hesitant to take that step to put what you love out there and do it. And I think that was kind of my story. I was a little worried about how people would perceive some of my designs, but I finally just got to the point where I was proud of it and I just kept putting it out there and people kept responding to it, sometimes negatively, sometimes positively, but just take that stuff and get out there. I actually think that's good advice for any creative field is just yeah. to just keep going yeah. and just keep putting your stuff out there. Um, I think oftentimes people, some types of people will be very critical of whatever they do and right. they will hold it close to, to their chest and they won't really let go and put it out there. But I mean, it's much better, I think, to just put it out there mm -hmm. and just keep going. You have to let go of the ego a little bit to let some of that out and yeah. be proud of it, you know, and that's tricky to do sometimes. How do you think design can make the world a better place? Having people explore sides of themselves that maybe they wouldn't normally and I think that's what's fun with design is when you get into it you start to open up a whole new side of what's in your brain and it's always fascinating to talk to people about design because as you work with them they always develop kind of their own design in the process and they kind of figure that out and that journey is always really fun to be a part of. It can be very relaxing and yeah. soothing and healing to just do a creative thing mm -hmm. and so design can also be that thing where you redecorate your room and you're really happy with how it turned turned out, mm -hmm. elevates your mood, and makes you a more pleasant person to be around. <laughs> Three words to describe your design style. <laughs> Three is so Three few. words to describe your design style. Can I say for him? <laughs> I think I've got mine, but go ahead. Uh, like instinctual. Okay. Right, because you kind of like go with your gut a lot. Oh, okay, all right, I'll take that, yeah. Um, I was gonna say bodacious. Uninhibited. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I like that one. And bodacious. Bodacious. Yes, sure. Bodacious. <laughs>